Hello everyone. We will continue the topic string comparison operators. And in the previous video, we started with string comparison operator CP. But CP stands for contains pattern. We did few practicals and at that time, we used the character star. We used star. And what is the meaning of star? It will match any, any sequence of characters. Now we will see the use of hash and extremely, extremely useful. Now, hash is called as escape character also. Whenever someone asks you what is the escape character, the answer is hash. Hash is also called as escape character. Whenever we will use hash, it will interpret the next character. Suppose after hash, I am writing A in capital. So it will interpret A in capital only. Suppose after hash, I will put A in small. So it will interpret A in small only. So it will hash always, always interpret the next character as it is. We will see lots of use of this particular hash. Suppose if I will go for first use of hash. Hash is used to make a search case sensitive. Suppose if I talk about this string comparison operator CP, it will not take case sensitiveness into consideration. Suppose if we will see the practical. Suppose. I am looking for APP, A in capital, PP in small. Before that, any sequence of character. After that, any sequence of character. So I will get a true result. You can see I got the result 7. Why, why, why I got the result 7? Because it is true. Whenever it is true, it will return the offset or position of the first matching character. Just see the offset or position of first matching character. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, if I will put this A in small and PP in capital, no problem. I will get the same to same result because this string comparison operator will not consider case sensitiveness into consideration. Now you can see I got same to same result. Now, if we want to make the search case sensitive, suppose we want to go for CP, we want to go for contains pattern, but we want to make the search case sensitive. Suppose I want to go for A in capital and PP. I want to specifically go for A in capital only. A should be in capital. Then in that case, I need to use what? I need to use escape. And hash is called as escape character. So what is the use of hash? After hash, hash will interpret the next character. So after hash, if you put whatever you put, it will interpret as it is. If it is in capital, it will interpret in capital. If it is small, if it is in small, it will interpret in small only. And widely, widely used. Many times we want to look for a pattern and whenever we want to look for a pattern, we want to make the search case sensitive. Then at that time, you will simply, simply put hash. After hash, Whatever you will put, if you put in capital, it will be treated as capital. If you put in small, it will treat as small. Suppose if I will show you the result as of now. In this case, yes, we will get a true result. Suppose if I will go for, I will put a breakpoint. So hash will be used to interpret the character, next character. important one. Suppose this is our first string and this is our second string. So after hash, 
it will see a in capital yes and anyways it will only only take the next character and anyways we put pp in small yes for pp no case sensitiveness case sensitiveness only only for this only only for this now you can see we got the same to same result now now if i will put a in small now i will get a false result because at this point of time yes after hash whatever is there it will be interpreted as it is so now it will go for search whatever the search is there it will be case sensitive now we are looking for a a in small but here a in capital now we will get a false result now if i will run and show you the output important one this is now if i will show you this is lv underscore string one this is lv underscore string two when we did not use hash at that time we got the true result always because cp is not taking case sensitiveness into consideration now if i will do f6 you can see we simply simply system went for the else part and it will return the length of first string. What is the length of first string? It is 30. So this is first most important use of hash. We can make a search case sensitive. Now, now we will go for second important use. The wildcard characters star and plus. Suppose simple example. Now, if we are using star, suppose I am removing hash here. Suppose, whenever we will put star, star means what? Any sequence of character. Now, just think, if we want to search for star, if we want to search for character star, then how, how you will search? Because if you will put star, as if you will put star here, if you will put star here, but SCP will recognize that you want to go for any sequence of character. Now just think, if I want to look for a character star, character star, then you have to use hash. Because if you want to look for a character star, how, how you will take? Because if you will put star as it is, then SCP will recognize that you want to go for any sequence of character. Now we do not want to go for any sequence of character. We want to specifically look for the character star. Just like APP, we want to look for character star. Then in that case, you need to put hash. You can put star. Then it will be the And you all know hash always, always interpret the next character. Now suppose, just suppose if I will show you. Now, suppose rather than APP, what we will put, I will put hash and I will put star. Just see how it will be there. This star means any sequence of character. A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, whatever is there. Now, hash. After hash, what is the first star? Now, this star will not treat as a sequence of character. It will treat star as a specific character. So it will look into this particular string. We have star. Then this star will treat as a sequence of character. Most, most important point. Now, if I will show you the result, we will get a false result at this point of time. Suppose if I will go for debug, I, I will put the breakpoint and show you in that debugging mode. I will go to desktop. Most important desktop, most preferable desktop. Now, this is our first string. This is our second string. Now, this is your any sequence of character. Yes, any sequence of character. Now, after hash, SCP will look for star. Do you have a star? We do not have star. 
because now it is not the sequence of character it is a specific character star now this star is again sequence of character so system will go to else part and whenever it will go for else part it will return the length of the first string 30 now we will see how to get a true result suppose here i will put star in the first string now i will get a true result so as said we will check yes any sequence of characters? Yes. Do you have star? Then you have sequence of character? Yes. So hash is very, very useful. Because star is for any matching any sequence of character. But whenever you want to go for specific character star, then what you will do? Now, this is your first string and this is your second string. Now I will get a true result. Now you can see system went for if and we will get the six offset or position of first matching character. Just see it is matching 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So at the sixth position we have stars. Now same thing, same thing is for plus also plus. You all know that anyways, I will do the practical of plus in the next video. Plus is to match any single character. Now, plus is to match any, any single character. Any single character means A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, 4. Just think, if I want to specifically look for character plus, character plus, then how, how I can do I need to compulsory, I need to compulsory use hash. Just now I show you the practical of star. Star, if you are simply writing star, it is any sequence of character. But if you want to specifically look for star, you have to go for hash. Similarly, if you will put plus, plus means it can be any, any character. But we are not looking for any character. If we want to specifically looking for plus, then we need to put hash and then plus. And third most important use, escape character itself. Just see simple example. If I want to look for hash, if I want to look for hash, suppose simple. If I want to look for hash. Now, if you look for hash, then in that case, what? I want to look for hash into this particular string, into this particular string. Now, if you will put like this, then what will happen? If I will remove this star, I will just go for activate. Just see how it will be. Star means any sequence of character. After hash, we have star. So SCP will recognize this as a character, this as a character. Now we need to look for hash itself, hash itself. It means after hash, you need to put hash, then you can go for star. So this is very, very important to use because see, hash plus star, they are the specific, they have the specific meaning. Star means it is used to match any sequence of character. Plus, it is used to match any single character. Hash, it interpret the next character. Now the question comes, if we want to override the meanings of this, if we want to specifically look for star character only, if we want to look for specifically plus character only, if we want to look for specifically hash character only, then in that case, this escape character will help you because after escape, whatever you will put, it will interpret as it is. This is widely, widely used operator. Now, if you will see, in this case, I will get a false result because it will be treated as what? Hash, especially we have sequence of characters. Yes. Then, hash after hash 
do you have a character hash into this particular string? No, we do not have. Then we have star and a sequence of character. Then in this case, we will get a false result. If I will run and show you the practical. If I will go to desktop three, most preferable desktop. This is our first string. This is our second string. Now you can see we got a false result. Now at what time I will get a true result? Suppose I will put hash here. Now I will get a true result. Because now after hash, it will treat as a character. Now it will not treat as, it will treat this as, it will interpret this as next character, hash. Now you can see this is our first string, second string. Sequence of character, yes. After hash, now it will be treat as a character. Now you can see we got the true result and what is the matching or offset position? What is the offset or position of first matching character? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So what is the summary of this particular video? Important video because so many points are related to this hash. First important point, hash is called as escape character. Whatever the character is after hash, it will be interpreted as it is. We saw the first use, most important use, because CP is not taking case sensitiveness into consideration. If you want to go for case sensitive search, you need to use hash because after hash, but if you put in capital, it will look search for capital. If you put in small, it will look for small. Now, next thing, if you want to go, if you want to search for star, if you want to search for plus, if you want to search for hash, I'm talking about now characters, then you need to compulsory put hash because if you will not put hash, then star will treat as any sequence of character, plus will treat as any character and this hash will interpret the next character. But we need to now look for these three individual characters in that case, we need to use hash. In the next video, we will see the use of plus and then we will move on to our next string comparison operator and p. So that's it in this video. Thank you.